as I said in the previous video, a lot of the work that's being done in this module is just a basic introduction to algebra. And one of the most basic things is the concept of expanding brackets. So in this first one, this means three multiplied by everything that's inside the brackets. So it's got to be three lots of A plus three lots of 2B. So three lots of A is 3A plus three lots of 2B is three twos of 6B. Okay, A times N and A times and it's best to think of this as negative 4p. So a times n is an. Subtract a times 4p is 4ap. Okay, it's, this one's a little more complex. Negative 5a times a. a times a is a is a squared. So that's negative 5a squared. Negative times the negatives are positive. 5, 6 is a 30a. Now, it would assist if you did these little arrows here. Okay, 2a times ab, take away 2a times 3b. So, that's 2, a times a is a squared with a b. 2, 3 is a 6, and a times b is ab. You can't do anything more with these if you were thinking of subtracting or adding any of these. They're not like terms, so we can't do that. So now we're just going up a little more difficult in complexity. So we need to expand those brackets here and then just take um, see if there's any like terms. So 4 lots of 2a is 8a. Take away 4 lots of b is 4b. Take 7a, it just hangs in there. 8a take 7a is 1a, or just a. Take away 4b. Remember, only the a's here are like terms. This one, we need to expand these brackets out and then see if there's any like terms with these other terms here. Now this is a 1, so 1 times a is just a. Take away a times 4p is 4ap. Take away a plus 5p. So here we've got a take away a, so basically it just disappears. And then we've got negative 4ap plus 5p. That's a little bit inelegant. We tend to want to put the positive term first, so 5p take away 4ap is a better way of writing that answer. This is part C and D, and this time complexity's gone up a little bit more. We need to multiply these brackets here out, and multiply these brackets here out. So 2a times a is 2a squared. 2a times 3 is 6a. 3 times 2 is 6. Negative times the negatives are positive. That's the one you're most likely going to make a mistake on. And 3 times a is 3a. Now have a look for like terms. We've got um, We've got a like term here and here. So that's going to be 2a squared. Now take away 6a plus 3a leaves negative 3a. Take away 6. All right, now expanding the next one, we need to expand here and expand here. Now this time, there's no number outside the brackets, so there's an implied one you can put in. But I'll talk about, it's it's often there for a reason, um, and I'll talk about that after we've expanded this first one out. So negative 4j times 2i, so negative 4 times 2 is negative 8ij. 
negative times negatives are positive, 4 threes are 12, and j times j is j squared. Okay, take away, now take away one lot of 10ij, that's not a problem, but we've got a negative outside the brackets and a negative inside, so it's like a negative times a negative makes a positive, and that's j squared. So looking for like terms, we can see we've got two ij's here, negative 8ij, negative 10ij. What I'm tempted to do, oh, I apologise, we've, um, we've got a j squared and a j squared as well. When you add the two j squareds together, you get 13 j squared, and I'm tempted to put that in front because it's positive. But when you add the negative 8ij and the negative 10ij, you get negative 18ij, and that's best written second because of the negative sign in front.